Good morning, everybody, from the great state of North Carolina. It is Monday, October 3rd, and a pretty crisp, about 59 degree day. I am at a park today called Riverbend Park. Um, gonna take another hike today. Gonna check out some new sites in this park. Brought my dog Phil along. And like I said, I'm at the visitor center right now. I'm gonna head over there here in a moment and get a map. Uh, maybe hit the restroom before we push off. Pretty good uh, trail here. But uh, like I said, we're going to um, get my dog out, get his leash on, and I'll see you shortly on the trail. Okay, everybody, Riverbend Park, Catawba County. We are at the first mark right here, number 21. So you can see it on the sign right there. Um, real simple today. We're going to come down this red trail. Um, we're going to skip the open meadow. I did that a couple days ago. I'm going to stay on the red trail, and right here at number 17, we're going to make a right and get onto that green trail coming all the way across. Probably next stop will be, well, next stop will be 17, and then on to 13. So, that's how we're going to start today. Um, Phil is always happy on these trails. I sometimes think he likes this stuff better than I do. <laughs> Okay, coming in to a little cross here. I'll show you on the map in a little bit. But um, we reached something called the Open Meadow Loop, about a half mile walk uh, through an open pasture over there. I've done that hike before. Not much out there, not much to see. It's like I said, just in an open pasture. But we're gonna continue onward down that red trail and you'll see uh, you'll see plenty of pastures later in the video for some other places we want to stop at Too bad. I think my auto zoom on this camera's broke. Heard this big hoof up ahead. Looked up there, there's like seven deer up on this trail here. So tried to get a shot of them, but that's what happens when you're using crappy equipment. Um, I've got better cameras. I took one out on trail with me about a week ago. 
um, at another location. Got some awesome shots of all kinds of stuff. Got it home, started the conversion, started editing it, and out of like the 35 clips that I took, I think 25 of them was corrected MP4 files. So I did everything I could to save them. I couldn't do it, so uh, anyways, when I get more time, I'm gonna work on that. But for now, I'm on this older camera. It's not a bad camera, but I can't stand the auto zoom. I'm trying to zoom in on something is absolute garbage. So it'll definitely be my next uh, my next thing that I need to get working or get fixed or get a better camera or something. Well, interesting enough, we reached another kind of terrain over here. Yeah, we're still in woods, but um, as you can see from these trees, we're walking on a bed of pine needles and pine cones. And there's hundreds, if not thousands, of these pine trees that are really up there, as you can see. So I just thought that was interesting. We were in dense woods, and it automatically switched to this. So, but we're still on that, uh, we're still on that trail, uh, the red one, heading down till we meet up with that green trail. Okay, everybody, as promised, we hit number 30 there. I don't even know if you can see that with the sun, but we'll try to get up close to the map here. So what we did, um, I don't know how good and clear that is, but we came, you know, we parked up here, came all the way down the red, came across here, and at number 17, we jumped on green and brought green all the way around. Jumped on the blue green, came down here a little bit, all the way up to number 13. We got the 13, we jumped the blue or the green and red all the way up to 30. So, as promised, we're going to stop by this uh, what they call that weather shelter which I can barely see the roof of it up there. Looks like we're going into a big open pasture here. I don't know what we'll see up here, but um, starting to get warm. I've got this big uh, camouflaged wool woolly on, and right now the time is about 9.33 in the morning, and it's definitely, I don't know, it might still be in the 50s, but I don't know, I'm warm, it's getting humid, so. Looks like we're coming off the trail here. Gonna jump into this grass. Um, it's a little wet. Hopefully, I don't have my waterproof shoes on, but again, we're gonna come up to this weather shelter. Well, that looks like just a, uh, kinda like a carport up here. Definitely a most awesome place to have a picnic. That carport's gonna keep any rain off you. 
any bright sun like I said we don't have to worry about that too much today the sun is bright but um, we're getting a pretty good breeze up here um, I haven't checked the temperature since I've been here but I'm gonna put it probably around 62 degrees right now with a pretty nice breeze so not much of an overlook here um, we're just up on a little hill here but yeah I got a garbage can and southeastern grasslands probably a pretty good spot for bird watching too there's a lot of them flying around but anyways um, on that note me and Phil we're gonna take I don't know um, we're gonna take a little break here and drink some water and I'll be back with you on the trail in no time There's the shelter over there. You can see it in the camera. Um, but yeah, we're heading down to this next crossroads down here where that Portage John is. And coming down a trail that way. But like I said, you can tell we're in a huge field here. Um, nice little pasture. No trees, pretty open, but um, it's not overcast at all, but it's just a nice clear day today. Nice breeze too. I took that uh, wool overcoat thing I had on and feeling much better. Feels off the leash for a little while. He's loving that. So, anyways, we're gonna. We're just gonna continue on here. So, where we were, we came up here, and that's where that. Uh, that's where that shelter was, which you can barely see it. Way up there, you can see it. Just went around that. Uh, that field there and ended up here yeah. that's weird actually <laughs> we're way up here we came around here though we went down the green and then up that red trail and ended up here at 32 with that porta potty right there so our next leg is just going to be going up that green up to uh, number 40 there And you're moving on. Um, extremely nice place. The only thing I would say about it, the only bad thing, is that here we're getting a lot of dew on the ground. Sun has not really quite come out yet. So if you're wearing some trail runners or some kind of sandals, as you can see, I've got my hokas on today. Definitely not a waterproof shoe, so your feet are definitely gonna get wet. No doubt about it. So, other than that, we have reached number 40 on the map. And I'm wanting to come up here. We need to reach this old chimney here. Check it out here. Apparently there used to be a cabin here or a house or something. Although there is no evidence. There's a couple bricks down there. Part of a foundation that probably used to sit here at one time. But yeah. Well they don't make them like that anymore. Nothing much to see though, just a, an old chimney that's still standing here. Like I said, the only evidence of a house that has ever been here. Really, a couple bricks laying around. 
a tree in the middle of probably their living room. But other than that, not too much else. Okay, everybody, just an update here. Um, a ways back, we started jumping on these yellow trails. I don't know if you can see it through the weeds there, but we're we're about at number 39 now. So we're making our way up. So what we did here, uh, we, uh, you know, we were down at the shelter here. Came down here, cut up to the restroom there. Uh, came up that green trail all the way up to number 40, and that's where we saw the chimney. And we jumped on the yellow trail going over here all the way up. And here's where we're at now, number 39. So we're going to see, apparently there's an old corn crib over here. We're going to see that continue across up to what they call Hilltop Spur. I imagine a long time ago there was... This little building was probably put to use pretty good. They call it a corn crib, but looks like there might have been some animals in there at one time. Okay, we are still coming up that orange, or not orange, yeah, orange trail. And we came up to this sign, Hilltop Spur. I don't know what this is. We got time to burn. So we're going to head down here, see what this is. Only thing I can see is a big opening up ahead with the picnic table. So, I don't know if it's a, I don't know what it is yet. Me and Phil is still on the hilltop spur here. As you can tell, he's just chilling out. Um, I don't know. We've been up here for about 15 minutes, just sitting by ourselves, enjoying the peacefulness. Um, I mean, there's nothing up here. It's uh, it's a little breezy, extremely peaceful. No people. Tons of birds. I hear animals skimpering through the woods, but not much really here. So anyways, I'm going to load up my pack here. I'm going to get Phil's collar on, load up our water, and we're going to head back out the trail.
comes out to a big crossroad here. As you can see, we are known, we are on number eight. So let's see where we're at now. All right, so here's the hilltop spur there. That's where we had our lunch. We came out here, followed the red around, and jumped on that uh, yellow, green, and red trail right across to eight. So that's where we're at now. I don't know, we might be, well, let's go come across the green there, get some river shots um, of the Catawba River. So anyways, we're going to just follow that green across and uh, like I said, get some shots of the Catawba River. Okay, we're still heading out here and starting to get our first looks here of the Catawba River. I'm sure there's other spots ahead. I don't want to get down in here in the mud. I'm sure this thing was flooding here. Or not flooding, but rather I'm sure it was pretty deep a couple days ago when Hurricane Ian popped through here. Yeah, it's all marsh down there. But uh, there's probably some better views ahead. However, I think it'd be awesome for a fishing spot, no doubt, if this was to dry up a little bit. And there's the dam up there. see number four there which we'll check out in a minute but I saw this sign here that says picnic area so we're gonna check that out so for those of you who do not like to carry water in I mean you'll be fine here just everywhere you're looking there's a stream crossing or a bubbling brook. Um, the only thing about this park though, there are no overlooks or anything of great interest. But um, absolute perfection for pets and kids. There are no real inclines. It's just a real, real nice Okay park. everybody, we're coming up to number four here. This trip is slowly coming to an end. We're about out of here, but uh, just a quick update on the map. Hopefully you can see that. That sun is horrible out here, but um, yeah, it's, it's all cracked here. Probably not the best place to put a map, but we're right here at this picnic table area right there. It's not labeled, but we're not heading up to number three there. We're going to head down this green trail all the way down to I don't know you can't even see it it's cracked really bad but anyways we're gonna from this picnic area number four we're gonna head right down that green trail next stop will be number 18 okay we're still on the green trail but we're coming up to a big intersection as you can see we're at number 18 so Oh yeah, this map's much easier to read. So, way up here, of course. This is where we got that view of the river. Came around eight, down, all the way down here. And right here was around that picnic area. Um, somewhere right in here. Um, but anyways, we headed back, or that was number four. So what we did, we headed down the green trail here. All the way down all the way up to 18 
and for those who remember this map this green this is a walking park it has does not have a lot of uh, outlooks in that but as far as elevation I mean it's not going to fend anyone off or anything but this is a little steep for like a wheelchair or anything like that I could actually feel myself breathing going up that hill there it's probably why they have that uh, elevation 990 which like I said it isn't anything but it's probably the biggest hill in the park coming out but anyways guys won't waste your time here we're at number 18 um, we're going to head down that green trail I think to blue and head up blue all the way to blue. We are at number 21 and I think that's going to just about do it for us today. I'm going to show you on this map our entire route. Hopefully you can see it. So we parked up here, way up in this area. I'll walk down the red trail all the way till number 17. Took out green all the way across. Green all the way over to this area to number 13 headed up that's where we had our lunch right there at the shelter number 30 I'm sorry about the shadow there um, but after 30 we headed back down the green up the red green to the porta potty there and from there we headed up the green all the way up the green area to that yellow green yellow green we took that around to 35 up to 39 cut across to the corn crib there sorry I keep moving my camera because the Sun is behind me but the corn crib came up there headed all the way up to hilltop spur that's where we had another lunch um, Phil likes a lot of lunches but anyways after that we headed across the red all the way across all the way here's where we got a view of the river right there on the green headed down to here number four and from number four we headed down that green trail all the way to number 18 headed down to 17 and came all the way up here to number 20 and then continued on that red trail all the way up to 21 and back to the parking lot which is right that way so yeah, not a bad little walk today. Um, this park here, there's just so many different trails, different routes. Every time you come here, there's something new to see. Um, as you can see, I use the uh, All Trails app. Our distance today was about 6.1 mile. We definitely took our time, about three hours and 15 minutes. Um, and as you can tell, the elevation, 581, isn't anything biggest elevation probably over half of that was just on that green trail that I told you about but um, yeah nice and little walk today um, I come to this park a lot um, 
not because I get a fantastic workout. If you want a great workout, head down to South Mountain or Linville Gorge, you know, or something like that. But um, there are just so many things to see here, so many different trails, um, picnic benches, connector trails. Um, it would be really hard to review this entire park and all of the little loops and woodland loops and prairies and all that stuff so anyways i won't take up anyone else's time i'm wishing everybody to stay safe out there and i'll see you out on the trails have a great fall